must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? This is Lucian Sword playing some more Br oh, Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. Look at that guys. Do you see the rainbow above me? It's just barely visible. You might not be able to see it anymore. Yeah, I think it's gone now. But it, it just rained a little bit ago and I had actually never seen a rainbow in Breath of the Wild before. Wow, look at all these dragonflies. Oh, they disappear as soon as I get close. Normally I would kill the wild animals for the meat because we are low on food, but I actually love foxes, so I don't want to kill any foxes that I see. So you might be wondering where I am. I'm, I'm not really far from where we uh, ended the last episode. I think I was standing like right on that hill right down there. Um, you remember we saw this walking guardian right before the end of the last episode. And yeah, we're going to try to get to this tower so I came up this hill to get a better look and I noticed a couple things on the other side of the hill check this out there's some big boys we got one right there and two more over here and I don't know what they're guarding or why they are where they are but I just thought that was interesting wow look at this view this game is breathtaking. This is one of the reasons why I love spending time in this world. It's just beautiful most of the time. And it feels like it's so big the, that, you know, it feels like the real world kind of. Oh, what do we have over here? I bet you it's a Korok. I bet you uh, if we put an apple in there, we'll get the Korok. But, alright, that's, that's good enough, I suppose. That statue's kind of got a funny grin on his face. Oh, look at it! He's got like a red leaf. I wish that they gave the Koroks names. That would make it so much better. I love their little branches, though. Look, look at that guy. He's got like a smug look on his face, man. Alright, uh, so, let's see if we can paraglide down to this tower. I also, guys, I also, oh, you know, I, I, I learned a new technique so that you can fly super far. If you're following me on Twitter, I posted a clip on Twitter. Um, we're not going to be able to do it right here, I don't think. So, I'll show you the new technique when the, uh, when I see an opportunity that makes sense. But, guys, I also have Amiibos. I have the amiibos. I forgot that you could do this. So, I have I have several amiibo that we can use. The first one I'm going to use is in honor of Zumor's Twilight Princess playthrough. If you're not watching Zumor, uh, he's playing through Twilight Princess, and it is a really fun series to watch. This is the Wolf Link amiibo. If you have the Wolf Link amiibo, you can actually summon Wolf Boy. <laughs> Wolf Link and uh, he will follow me around he only has three hearts so I don't know how useful he'll be in master mode apparently if you uh, if you played Twilight Princess HD on the Wii U and uh, however many hearts you got on that oh wait all right we got action right away did I just kill Wolf Link Man, I was worried that they were going to get the attention of the big guy down there. Alright, so anyways. Where was I? Yeah, uh, Wolf Link could have more than two, more than three hearts, depending on uh, how many hearts you had in Twilight Princess. Alright, I got a couple more amiibos. This is a, a Zelda, Princess Zelda amiibo. I figured a Master Mode, this will definitely help us out. Let's see. Get us 
a little bit of, it, of items. Normally you can't use amiibos until you get off of the Great Plateau, I think. Alright, that's a nice bow. And seeing as we are getting, like, destroyed by even the basic enemies, this will help. There's actually a chance I got I got one more Zelda amiibo. I'm not going to use too many amiibos, but we'll use a couple. I need to do some actual cooking as well. Probably another bow. Oh, an amber. All right. Um, let's do one more. This one is Kid Link from Ocarina of Time. Let's see what this one gives me. I got a lot of amiibos. Oh, it gives me fish. Stealth fin trout, Hyrule bass, a mighty carp, very useful. Armored porgy, armored carp, and a chest. Let's see what Kid Link gives me. Five ice arrows, all right. So, a little boost there. Oh, our first blood moon, guys. That is our first blood moon. Should I just make a run for the tower? I'm pretty sure there's guardians at this tower. Maybe not. Uh, I don't see any, actually. Just that one down there. He's looking right at me, guys. Do you think he sees me? That's creepy. Alright. Let's just fly down and see what we find. I don't even know if I have the stamina to get down there. Alright, good. He's, he's walking away, but there's another one right down there we're going to have to fight. He sees me already. Pretty clutch. Pretty clutch. Oh, Wolf Link. Wolf Link just killed the fox. Dang, that was savage. I won't kill the fox, but I can't vouch for Wolf Link. Oh man, here comes the Blood Moon, guys. You'll know Wolf Link is about to attack because he barks. Let's go get the meat. We're not going to let that fox go to waste. Wait, where'd the meat go? It disappeared? Oh no, guys. Here comes the Blood Moon. You're too late! Oh Ganon has awakened! Ganon's power grows. It rises to its peak under the hour of the blood moon. By its glow, the aimless spirits of monsters slain in the name of the light return to flesh. Link, please be careful. So, every time there's a blood moon, all of the enemies that we had killed that, you know, stopped respawning, yeah, they all they all respawn. So that guardian may have just respawned. It did. It did. No, don't shoot leg. Don't shoot wolf. Are you kidding me? All right, sorry wolf. Shoot me. Why is he shooting the wolf? Okay, that was close. He keeps on targeting Wolf. No. How could you? Wolf Link, run. Oh my gosh, he's dead. He killed Wolf Link, guys. Ow. If you're going to kill Wolf Link, then you're going to have to kill me too. I wonder if I can just respawn the wolf link, or is he once per day? I have a feeling he's once per day. But we're gonna try. Ah, oh, we can resummon him. Awesome. All right, dude. Let's try this again. Uh. All right. Oh, he only has one heart. Yep. 
Wolf Link, go get that last head. So apparently in the rain, I must have like increased stealth because that guardian's not shooting me. He's not seeing me when I'm over here. He used to. Hey, dummy. I'm over here. All right, let's try again. What? He like faked me out. He he like he didn't shoot right away for a second. Oh no. Shoot me. All right, you know what? We're doing this. All right, here we go. Here we go. Wolf Link is just going to town on him. No! Wait, the blood moon's happening again? I guess because I died, it must have went like... It must have went before that happened. Interesting. Well, good thing I didn't kill him, like, again, I would have had to kill him twice. Alright. Maybe that's why I could do the wolf link, because it wasn't like... It wasn't like I used him twice. Because I died, it reloaded. Can I summon him again? No, I don't think I can. Alright, no problem. Alright, let's get this tower, guys. Before anything else happens. And I end up dead. Oh boy. Another guardian. Oh, he killed this guy. The delay on the shooting is crazy. Uh-oh. I could only I could only do this one two more times. Got him, boys. I didn't want to waste another shield, so that was lucky. Chuck that guardian. Grab this rusty halberd. Honestly, the halberd makes it easier to kill the bats. Alright, now we can get the... Uh, oh, nice. A hearty radish. That's like the best thing you can get. Um, now this tower should be doable. I killed... Two guardians. Oh, look at all that meat. Bad shot. Oh my... Gosh, I'm terrible. Drop the apples. No. Oh, that's actually a really good bow. I'll take that. All right. I get distracted so easily. Let's pick this arrow back up and let us ascend the central tower of Hyrule. All right, All right. I have like no stamina. Making great progress, and there it is. Oh yeah, boys! Our second tower, and there is a lot of towers left, but got it.
This helps a lot because we'll be able to warp to this place as well. Scanning area. That's a big chunk. And that's actually the chunk that has Hyrule Castle. Very cool. Sheikah Slate updated additional functionality detected. Ah, so the first tower that you get outside of the Great Plateau will give you the Sheikah sensor. Got you. All right. Yes, so basically whenever I'm near a shrine, that beeping will go off. Makes it very easy to find shrines. Alright, now the question is, where do we want to go from here? And I believe the answer is, we want to go east. So basically, I think we want to go to that tower. Let's see. Actually, no, that tower is way over there. Alright. We want to go to that tower. Yeah, I think so. So, let's let's try to make our way to the blue pin. Now, I might be able to do the technique that I've been practicing uh, a little bit. Let's see. I don't know if I could do it on a tower, but we're going to try. I'm not a Zelda speedrunner or anything, so... This might backfire. We're gonna do this. We're gonna set one of those. We're gonna come back, wait. I lost my position here. Let me make sure I'm lined up. All right, this might work or it might result in me dying. So we'll, we'll find out. Ah, I didn't get the bullet time. Alright, we got it. Hold on. We... We'll get a little bit closer. Oh yeah! Woo! Too bad I don't have any stamina! Oh, I do. Alright. Oh yeah, look at that speed. That was a pretty good boost. Not bad, not bad. How much distance did we tra travel? Eh, I guess it wasn't that far, but every little bit helps, right? Actually, since I'm here, let me see if I can summon Epona. I do have... I do have uh, Link Amiibos, and there's a chance you'll get a... Uh, nope. There's a chance you'll get a Pona. We could really use a horse right now. And what better horse than a Pona, you know what I mean? A Claymore. I mean, I guess I'll take it. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll just... Just drop that, I guess. I think I have two or three Link Amiibos, so we got, we got a couple chances. Uh, let's try this one. Nothing? Oh, come on, my amiibo not working anymore. This one, I'm literally holding a, a Link amiibo. Oh, there. Oh, we got a Pona, guys! Hey. Let's give a Pona some apples. Who's a good girl? She loves those apples. Welcome to Hyrule. All right, let's go. Man, she is beautiful. All right, let's make our way to that blue marker we placed. And uh, if we find a uh, stables, 
<laughs> I swear, I was trying to turn and she just wouldn't turn. <laughs> Haven't ridden a horse in a while, sorry. <laughs> Move it! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Man, now I know some more struggles. Alright, I hear Korok. <laughs> Easy. How many do we even have? We have nine Korok seeds already. Amazing. Alright, Epona, let's let's try to get out of this forest. I know you don't like it in here. Alright, here is where Epona shines. Open field. Look at that speed. We're getting close to a shrine. Ah, oh, and there's the stables. Perfect. Literally perfect. Alright, well, let's do the shrine real quick. And then uh, we'll register Epona. Wago Kata. I say really quick, you know, last ride I did took me like 40 minutes, but we're not going to go there. <laughs> That's in the past. This shrine should be easier. I think we'll see. Tree tops. The things that you can do atop small trees are limited, but they have their uses. All right, what do we have here? Oh yeah, this one's easy. This this one's easy. Metal connections. All right. So first, let's let's climb up here. There might there might be a chest up here or something. Of course. Amber, of course. Do you guys think I can? Uh, I can move all of these, like, without the tower falling. Very carefully. How'd I do? Not bad, not bad. Alright, we need that piece. We're just gonna set this piece right there. We're gonna carefully slide these over again. Probably somewhere around here. Oh. My bad, I'm, I'm, I'm completely underneath. All right. Let's come out a little bit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Man, we could actually, we could almost get there just from there, but. No, uh, no, uh, middle one, middle one. Slide it back. Let's move it out just a little bit more. Now we're gonna take this, put it way up top. Okay, okay, I was a little bit off. I'm oh, sorry. I'm just happy this has no enemies. That was makes it so much easier. All right, there we go. Do you love my beautiful top? Wait, are you for real? There we go. <laughs> Got it. Easy. We need more easy spirit orbs. That way we can get more hearts. This game mode won't be as difficult once we get more hearts. That was just but one spirit orb, but we need four for each heart. I got two in the bank. May the goddess smile upon you. And uh, let's go register Epona and make our way to the second tower. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, wherever you guys might be. It's a beautiful day out today. Although, to be honest, I'd rather just be chilling inside and playing Zelda. 
Hey, it's raining again. Okay. I might need to put away my metal my metal stuff. We'll see. Our first stables, guys. Oh. Welcome to my stable. We deal all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Oh, I haven't seen your face before. Do you even know about the stable system? I do. Yeah. Alright, let's register the horse. Look at that. Oh. Yep, that's a Pona. We're just gonna leave it a Pona. Now we can whistle her. Alright, beautiful. Actually, let's get off. Is Beetle in here? Oh, a quest. Have you gone to that giant castle north of here? That's Hyrule Castle. It's said to have fallen to ruin over a hundred years ago. I used to sneak in there to salvage ancient treasure, but it's too dangerous to go in there now. Uh... These days, it's surrounded by eerie mist and savage machine-like creatures. Back when it was safer, I went looking for this ultra-rare equipment that once belonged to the Royal Guard. It's legendary among collectors, but I was never able to find any. The Royal Guard's gear. Hey, it's Beetle. We can finally sell. But first, let's read this diary. They're talking about the Royal Guard equipment can be found near the dining hall, the guard's chamber, and on the second floor. All right, updated that quest. Yeah. Yo, it's Beetle from Wind Waker, guys. Oh man. I might play Wind Waker after this. I don't know. We'll see. Yep. Oh, dude. I'll never forget you, Beetle. All right. Let's see. I want to sell. Gemstones in particular fetch a high price. Um, Let's sell first. We'll also be able to buy arrows and whatnot from him. Uh, let's see. Let's sell. I don't need 60 of these. Those are worth eight a piece? Oh yeah. I sell half. Yay! And uh we'll sell half of these as well. Which be twenty-four. <laughs> Let's go ahead and sell the diamond. I know that wow. we could fetch a higher price if we went to the Goron City, but right now. Yay! We just want some money. I'm going to sell all the expensive gems. Wow! I want to have enough so that we can buy armor once we get to Kakariko Village. Let's sell a few of these. <laughs> and uh, what else? I'm definitely keeping all the ancient parts. I need those. Alright, let's see if we can buy some arrows from him. Let's take... We got 25 arrows right there. Wow! Beautiful, thank you. That's all. I believe there should be a cooking campfire around here as well. Ah, oh, there is, but it's... in need of fire. I love this music. What are the... This music... When I hear it, it reminds me of my daughter. Because... When she was little, and uh, I guess she doesn't really do it any much anymore, but when she was a little bit littler, and she's only four years old right now, but when she was like two, three years old, she would play this game, and all she would do is go find horses, and then she would take the horse and uh, bring it to the stable. So I was always hearing this music in the house. Uh, do I have a flint? Because, yes, I have, I have one flint. I think I should be able to start the fire. Will the fire stay lit? Ah, oh, it wasn't close enough. Alright. Come on, stay lit. Alright, I guess we're cooking later. So be it. Let's make our way. Onward, Zapona. We have worlds to explore. Oh, we're gonna have to cross this bridge. Up here. There's another shrine up there. Should we go do the shrine? Or should we go straight for the tower? I am interested in the shrine. Let's get a closer look and see uh, 
See how difficult this shrine is looking. Is there really, like, nothing over there? I don't think she wants to go in the water. Alright. Let's head on over to the shrine, I guess. Since it's right there, might as well do it. Unfortunately, though, guys... Wow, that's a really fast river. Unfortunately, though, we are at the time limit for this episode, so... We're gonna start the next episode with this shrine. And look at that, I found a chest. I don't even need Magnesis to see that one. This water is so clear. Purple Rupee! Oh, it's this one. It's the flower girl. Look, aren't they lovely? I wanted to see how the shrine would look with flowers around it. It's wonderful. Please feel free to take a close look, but just don't step on them. Do you guys realize how long it would take to plant all of these flowers? Alright, we're gonna do the flower shrine at the beginning of the next episode, guys. I cannot wait. We are making such great progress. And by the way, guys, every 10th episode, I'm gonna be doing a one-hour special. So, look forward to that, because I definitely am. As always, guys, this is Lucian Sword. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy, guys.